Whether you're a blogger, vlogger, podcaster, YouTuber, videographer or photographer, there are so many ways to make money online. And over the years, I've tried quite a few of them. So I'm gonna share with you today which ones that worked for me and which ones that didn't. So advertising, if you watched episode one, then you'll know that I have a TV channel which is predominantly advertising. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be talking about purely making money online as a content creator. Okay, so let's talk about Google AdSense. So five years ago, I started my blog, which was a Caribbean travel and lifestyle blog that was exploring all the different islands, showing you where to go, where to eat, stay, do on all the different Caribbean islands. And at its peak, it was probably getting around 10,000 visitors a month, which isn't too much. Every now and then it would get a lot more than that, but that was probably the average. I didn't really update it very often, so it wasn't really something I was taking seriously. Um, but I had my Google AdSense set up. It didn't really take much to actually do, it didn't take too much time. So it was up and running and I would probably make a few hundred dollars a month uh, just on the Google AdSense. So for me, it wasn't really something that I was getting excited about and wanted to quit my day job over and really focus on the blog to make money on the Google AdSense side of things. But that's not to say that that doesn't work for some other bloggers that have way more traffic. It's just my experience. So affiliate links is where you write an article or promote a product or brand and link it to that store or specific brand. So you can go direct to the brand or you can go through an agency uh, where you can actually link the product that you're promoting. And if you sell that, then you take a percentage of that sale. For me, I'd make a couple hundred dollars here and there off a few different products that I'd been linking to through my blog. The margins are again quite low. It's only a small percentage that you get. So you have to make a lot of sales and a lot of people going to that website through you to actually make money. Brand sponsorship. This is where I've had the most success. It's where you would create content and promote it to your audience for a one-off fee. So I started getting brand sponsorships with not even that many followers. It was probably about 10,000 followers and a lot of clothing companies would approach me and send me free clothes in exchange for taking photos that they could use and that I would promote on my platform. But that wasn't really something that was working for me. It wasn't really worth my time to get free clothes. It wasn't really my long-term goal. I didn't really want to continue being paid $100 here or $100 there to promote these products. So I shifted my brand to align with some of the brands that I really wanted to work with. On the Facebook side of things where I'd be creating travel videos, they would reach up to 2 million people, half a million people, hundreds of thousands of views. With my travel videos, I cultivated an audience of Caribbean travelers that were interested in going to these destinations. And it wasn't necessarily because I had a large audience to already promote that to, it was that the product was a little bit unique and the content was unique. It was a travel video, but it actually took you through where to go, what to eat, stay, do in each destination. So it was different from some of the other typical travel videos that were out there. So it's also about your audience and how connected you are to them and how they trust you. Do they come to you for advice? Do they come to you for recommendations? What value do you provide them? And how engaged are they in your content and what you're bringing to them? So if you are a small brand and you don't have too many followers right now, that doesn't really matter too much. It's not always about that. I really feel like if your content is original, unique, different and stands out and is high quality, brands will want to work with you because everyone always needs content. Another way to make money online is through direct sales. So whether you're selling presets for your photos or prints or t-shirts, merchandise, anything that you want to sell online, you can do that through Amazon, Facebook, Zazzle I've used in the past, and directly through your social media platforms. I sell photo presets and prints through my website on Squarespace. So there's tons of ways that you can sell products online, and it's just whether it's worth your time pushing them. You have to 
have quite a, a niche and have quite a large audience to actually make those sales. But it's not necessarily to say you won't make any money. I've made a few hundred dollars here and there but not too much to sustain myself just on that alone. But that's not to say that it won't happen for you. So one thing that really works well for me is selling my footage. As a videographer, I've had a ton of footage that I've shot over the years and I actually sell that on stock footage websites such as Artgrid. I uh, negotiate with the client beforehand to make sure that I also own the footage and I'm able to sell it and then I make money at the end of the year for not really doing anything other than uploading the footage from people that have downloaded it and the royalties come for not really doing anything extra. So if you're going to a tra travel to a different island to shoot a hotel, then you can get some extra shots and then put that on your stock footage website as well. Okay, so the most significant revenue that I've had from my online brand is through selling services. So whether that's video, marketing, consulting, writing, all of that combined for me turned into a media company with employees, but it's definitely a way that if you're thinking about leaving your job and wanting to do this full time, having the freedom to have that traveling lifestyle, obviously not right now, but have a lifestyle where you can sustain yourself, have the freedom, then this is a really good way to make a lot of revenue that could actually replace the salary that you currently have and to make more than that. So what I actually do is combine a few of those streams. So I'll combine brand sponsorships with selling services. So for example, if a company wants me to host a show in Europe, they would pay for my flight and accommodation and appearance fee. And then I would pitch to a travel brand to create a video for them while I'm in Europe. So I know that if I'm going to that destination, I can actually make revenue from two different points and from two different clients. So it's just maximizing the opportunity maximizing your time and getting creative on what you can actually do for clients and what value you can bring. So in the next episode, I'm going to be talking a lot about pitching because that's so important and there's so much to say. So I'll talk about that next Sunday. But if you want to know a little bit more about editing and actual how to's of camera settings and actually creating more video content, I'm thinking about doing a creator content, a creator course if you're interested. So I'll leave the link down in the description to sign up for my newsletter so I can just get some numbers of anyone who's interested in this and whether it will be worth my time doing it. Um, and then I'll let you know and I can go into more details because I'd love to share more with you. So just let me know and I'll see you next Sunday. <laughs>